Hey, so I'm back and I'm going to teach you how to draw an owl today. Um, owls are one of my favorite things to draw because they're so awesome and they have so much personality. So we're gonna start by breaking up the owl into the most basic parts, just like we did with the cat. And with an owl, it's basically the body and the head. So the head is like a big circle, a little bit wider than a circle, kind of like an oval. So there's the owl's head. Hopefully you can see that. And now we're going to do a nice oval for the owl's body. Now, one thing that's pretty important for this owl, if it's not going to be hovering in midair, is it needs a perch to sit on. So we're going to make a nice line, or you can even make it kind of like a curvy line, to be the branch that that owl is sitting on. And then we're going to do the owl's tail. Owls always need a tail so that they can balance. So there you got the basic shape of not only an owl, but most birds. And now we're gonna do the wings of the owl. It's really important that you give your owl wings because otherwise it can't fly. And then it can't hunt and it can't do what it wants. You hear that out there? That's the ice cream truck. Not bad, right? But I'm not gonna do that because I'm busy drawing an owl. So, now we're going to do the owl's feet. And we're just going to do three little three little lines like that. And on this side also three little lines for the owl's front claws. But if you want, you can do two lines, you can do five lines. I mean, you can make any kind of owl you want. So now we're going to do the owl's face. So the owl needs two big eyes so it can see really well. So that's what we're going to do here. So there you have the owl's eyes, okay? And now we're gonna go down and do the owl's beak. And we need to do a few more things. We need to do the center of the owl's eyes. And uh, not owls have this, but one thing that you might've noticed is uh, a lot of owls have these big horns on them like this. So let's give our owl some horns. And now you already have a pretty good shape of an owl, but there are a few things you might wanna to do to make it really good. Um, you might wanna add a few little scales like this. And those are like feathers on the front of the owl that it can use for camouflage. And now we're gonna start outlining the owl. Here you can see a little bit of an up close view. And this is my favorite part because it's when the, when the owl really starts to come together. So we're going to outline this stuff with black pen. And remember, the black pen is permanent, but the pencil isn't. So you can keep editing as much as you want and make it perfect before you put the pencil. And no one will ever know how many times you did it. And it's okay if this is a little bit scribbly. Mine is going to be scribbly too, especially because I'm drawing at a weird angle today. But I just wanted to make sure that you could see. So as you can see, we're kind of editing the shape of the owl's body as we go. It's not quite the same as it was in the original pencil sketch. So, some lines here, some lines here for the feet. And just make sure that if something is in front of something else, like how this stick is behind the owl's feet, you wanna make sure to do the feet first, because if you do the stick first, then there's going to be a line going through the owl's feet and you can never take that away. So the owl's body going down like that, and I'm going to wait and fill in the stick before I keep going down the owl's body so that the dimensions will look good. There we go. Now let's do a nice stick down there. Perfect. Now the owl's tail. And the owl's feathers on the front of its chest. Maybe a little line to separate the owl's wings from its body. And take a look at that. We already have a pretty good looking owl right there. Now, this is one of my favorite parts too. This is when I'm going to erase all of these pencil lines. So I'm going to have to take this down so that I can see it. And what I'm doing right now is just rubbing this eraser all over the place and getting the pencil lines away. 
I'll show you it as soon as I'm done. All right, not bad. Take a look at that. So now it's time for the amazing moment where we get to color in the owl. And I might add just a few more details before that. So this owl is going to be living at night, right? So maybe let's add a few stars on the side to really make it feel like it's nighttime. Maybe we can even add a moon. We can add a planet. And nice fun stuff for the owl to really make the owl feel like it's in a nice environment. And now we're going to color in this owl. So I kind of feel like the owl's head should be a light color so you can still see its facial features. So I'm going to make it be yellow. And there you go. Perfect. Now I'll color in these things yellow too. Now we have to do the body of the owl and all of these other things. So I'm going to fill this stick in just kind of like a bit more of a bland color so it blends into the background because we want the focus to be on the owl. Uh, here we go. Nice gray stick. And after that, I'm going to start coloring in the owl's body. So I think the owl's body should also be a nice light color so that we can still draw the feathers on top of the owl in a different color and have them show up. Because you know that if you paint something in a really dark color like black first and you only have markers, it's going to be really really hard for you to paint on top of a light color with a dark color. Or, sorry, vice versa. If, if you do something really dark and then you paint on top of it with a light color, uh, it's not going to work out very well. Because at least with this kind of marker, the colors are transparent. So. Just to sum it up to make sure you didn't uh, misunderstand my mistake, uh, you want to make sure to do your light colors first and then go darker as you go. And now we're going to do the owl's wings, a pretty important part of it. I think green is a good color. Nice blending in with the forest maybe. So here we go. Here's the owl's other wing. And we're almost done. We want to do the owl's tail. I'm going to decide to make its tail blue. Okay. And I'm going to maybe make its legs maybe yellow again. I feel like there needs to be a little bit of yellow down here on the bottom to balance out the yellow on the top. Okay. And now for the big moment, coloring in these feathers. So I'm going to use a nice deep purplish color for that. And now you see you can really see them because I used that dark purple on top of the peach. Okay, so honestly this owl is looking pretty good. The only thing I might add is coloring in its beak. So I'm going to use blue since there is no blue up here. Basically, I think it's nice to try to balance out the colors somewhere. So if you have some blue here, it's nice to have some green up here. It's kind of the same sort of color. Or if you have some yellow up here, you put some yellow down there. So there you go. Uh, whoops, I forgot one feather on the owl. That's pretty important. Don't want to feel annoyed seeing that missing. There we go. So there's the owl. Take a look at that. You have a pretty good owl right there. And... Uh, like I said last time too, we are going to try to make these into cards and send them to some people living in nursing homes around here. So if you're interested, let me know and we would really, really love to have your painting. You can make any kind of owl you want. You can make it a different color. You can make it really wide or really thin. You can put all kinds of stuff in the background. It's really up to you to do whatever kind of owl you want. But this is just an ex example so you understand how you might be able to do it. So. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.